guys, Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And as you guys know, I played a lot of Ground War, and today I want to give you my five best class setups for Ground War. We're mainly going to talk about the weapons and what I use on those. I'll go into perks really quick right here from the start, so let's go ahead and get into that first. I usually always run EOD Ghost and Tracker or EOD Ghost Tracker and Shrapnel. Uh, I will change to Shrapnel when I'm playing solo and I need two of those Thermite Grenades because... If you stick a tank with two thermite grenades and hit it with an RPG, you usually can blow it up just by yourself. If I'm not playing by myself, I'll either run just one thermite or uh, a proximity mine with tracker on. I really like tracker in ground war because there's so many players running around. And of course, tracker is very helpful when you know you can see enemy foot, uh, you know, kind of footprints, and also, you know, you see those markers at enemies' death locations and hide the enemy death markers of enemies that you kill. So I find tra Tracker is very helpful in Ground War. And of course, Ghost and EOD are also very useful as well. Now, when it comes to class setups, these are going to be my five favorite weapons to use in Ground War. And these are in no particular order. So these aren't rated from best to worst or anything. But the first weapon we're going to look at is going to be the Kilo. The Kilo class that I like to run in Ground War is going to be the Compensator, which is going to give you recoil control, aim down sight speed, and aiming stability cons. I'm going to run the Syngard Arms 19.8 Prowler Barrel, which is damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control. Of course, the cons are aim down sight speed and movement speed. I'm going to go with the GI Mini Reflex. I'm also going to go with the Commando Foregrip, which is recoil stabilization, aiming stability, and of course, the con of movement speed. If you ever use a compensator, it is always the best, in my opinion, to run the Commando Foregrip. They pair very well together for recoil control and recoil stabilization. The next thing I'm going to go with, of course, we are playing Ground Wars. So you're going to need a little bit more ammo than just that normal 30-round clip. I'm going to go with the 60-round mag, which gives you, of course, that 60-round magazine capacity. Of course, the aim down sight speed and movement speed is going to be slowed down just a bit. And that is going to be my setup. Now, if you want to drop this sight for something like a stock or a rear grip, you can. But I prefer the run, to run the sight on this certain kilo class right here, especially without a silencer. I really like to have a sight because of that muzzle flash. This is a really good class. It's a little bit slower. The mobility, of course, as you can see, is down. Everything else is up. You know, uh, the green bars are, of course, you know, kind of almost the maxed out point. But that mobility bar is down just a bit. This is more of a kind of, you know, sit around certain flags, you know, kind of wait on those enemies, just pick them off and... Just kind of patrol certain areas. It's not a class that I like to run around with. I like to stay within, you know, just a couple flags. Just kind of patrolling and defending those areas. The next class setup we're going to look at is my AK class setup. Now this is going to run the monolithic suppressor, of course, which is sound suppression, damage range. Of course, aim down sight speed, aim, walking steadiness are going to be the cons. I'm going to run the 23-inch RPK barrel, which is damage range, uh, bullet velocity, recoil control. Of course, cons, aim down sight speed, movement speed. They want to go with the Merc foregrip for that recoil control and that hip fire accuracy. Of course, aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed are the cons. I really like the, the Merc foregrip on a lot of weapons and is really good in my opinion on the AK. Next thing we're going to go with is the rubberized grip tape, which is going to be even more recoil control. Of course, aiming stability is going to be the con. The AK does have a good bit of recoil, so it's going to it's a weapon that you're going to want to put things on to help you control that recoil. And last but not least, we're going to go with the skeleton stock. And this is going to help with a lot of that, you know, ADS slowdown speed that we've been, uh, you know, kind of adding to the weapon. We're going to get aim walking movement speed, movement speed, and ADS speed. Of course, the cons are aiming stability. And as you can see right now, the accuracy, the damage, uh, or, you know, the accuracy and the range are, you know, kind of up a little bit. Of course, the mobility is down just a hair and the control is up just a little bit. Now, some people do not like to run this weapon with iron sights. If you do not like to run iron sights, of course, you can walk, drop that rear grip and put on something, you know, whatever sight that you prefer. Let's just go with that. And you can kind of see what the stats are like there. You know, you pretty much got the same style stats, but that recoil control, in my opinion, is not as good without that rubberized grip tape. The next class we're going to look at, of course, is going to be the M4. Now, the M4A1 is still one of the best weapons in game, in most people's opinion. And this class setup here is a really good setup, in my opinion, for Ground War. We're going to go with the M16 Grenadier Stock, which is going to give us damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. Of course, aim down sight speed and movement speed are the cons. I'm going to go with the GI Mini Reflex. You can go with whatever sight that you prefer, but I just like the GI Mini Reflex because it's very, a very clean, open kind of sight. 
Next thing we're going to go with is the Commando Foregrip. Recoil stabilization, aiming stability, of course the move, uh, movement speed is going to be the con. We're going to go once again with the 60 round mag, which of course is going to have aim down sight speed and movement speed cons. But in ground war, it's just hard to run around in my opinion with a 30 round clip and you know, not have to reload every 5 seconds. And if you get into a, a big gun fight with a lot of players, they don't know where you're at. You have to shoot a couple, reload, shoot a couple, reload. And if you're not running a silenced weapon, that can be deadly. So I, I recommend running uh, extended mags on all these weapons most of the time in ground war. The next thing we're going to go with is, of course, stiffle grip tape, which is going to give some aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Of course, the aiming stability will be the con. And as you can see, the accuracy and the range are both up there a good bit. The controls up there a good bit. The mobility is down just a, just a little bit, but this is a little bit easier of a weapon to move around with than that uh, first class I showed you with the kilo. But this is still a weapon, I think, that you want to kind of patrol certain flags. It's not just a rushing style weapon. The next thing we're going to look at, of course, is going to be the Ram 7 class. Now, this has become one of my favorite classes to run in ground war. And even though the mobility is down, I still feel like I can move around the map with this gun a lot better than I can the rest. I guess that because the, the Ram has some of the best mobility stats for the AR category, we're going to go with the monolithic suppressor, which is sound suppression damage range. Of course, aim down sight speed and aim walking steadiness. Uh, we're going to go with the XRK Ranger. Of course, this is going to be damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control. Of course, the cons are aim down sight speed and movement speed. Then we're going to go with the commando foregrip, recoil stabilization, aiming stability, and of course, the con is movement speed. We'll go with the 45 round magazine. This gun empties clips in a hurry because it has a high rate of fire, so that 45 round magazine is a big help. Of course, its con is aim down sight speed and movement speed. And then the last thing we're going to go with is the rubberized grip tape, which is going to be recoil control and aiming stability con. This class I have a lot of success with. I know some people, you know, say the weapon has too much recoil. For me, this setup right here, I hardly have any recoil issues. But I don't have most, most weapons in the game I don't have recoil issues with. I know everybody's different. I've played COD and played a lot of shooters for a long time. So I've gotten used to being able to, you know, figure out these weapons and be able to work with, you know, the recoil that they show you, the visual recoil, and be able to control that very easily. But if you do have issues with the iron sights, I would recommend dropping this Ranger barrel and putting on a sight. Or if you do not like the Ranger barrel. I mean, that Ranger barrel is not a necessity. You can still kill this gun at good distances without that Ranger barrel. You also could go with a stock. The Ultra Light Hollow would be my preference. But a sight or, sight or a stock will be very good if you do not want to run that uh, Ranger barrel. And last but not least, this was my go-to class for a long time in, in Ground War. This is the PKM. This gun's almost made for ground war. I don't know what it is. I just really like this gun in ground war. We're going to go with the 26.9 inch extended barrel, which is damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control, cons, aim down, sight speed, and movement speed. I go with the solarized uh, optic, which is the mini reflex. You can go with whatever you like, but that's just the one that I've been using as of late. Of course, the stock is the uh, TAC Ultralight, which is aim down sight, or, you know, aim walking movement speed, excuse me, and aiming stability con. Stipple grip tape for aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed. Of course, the con is aiming stability. And last but not least, I go with the snatch grip, which is recoil control and aim down sight speed. Of course, the con is movement speed. The reason I run this TAC Ultralight is I'm trying to speed up this weapon the most I can. As you can see, we have a little bit more mobility than you normally would with the LMG. I'm wanting to have good stability. Now, you can take this off and you could change this to like rubberized grip tape, and you can put on uh, something like the monolithic suppressor, which is also a very good class, and you can see your accuracy and your range are way up there. Your control, of course, is up there some, but your mobility is knocked down a bit. So if you want to go something with a little bit more slow kind of pace, this is a good way to run it, but preferably I like to run it with the stippled grip tape, and of course, like I said, the ultralight stock. That way I, I don't feel like I'm using an LMG as much as I would, you know, with a slower version of this weapon. But this is also a very good gun. Of course, you know, it is an LMG. You have that 100 round mag, so you can just take out a lot of targets before you have to reload. Just be careful when you do reload because this weapon has a very slow reload and it can get you caught, you know, kind of out in the middle of a fight and you're reloading and then you're going to be pretty much done. You're, there's no way you're going to be able to beat anybody if you are in the reload animation. Anyway, guys, these are my top five classes for Ground War. These are the guns that I really enjoy running in Ground War. Leave me a comment. Let me know, do you play Ground War and what weapons do you use? Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to share the video. It helps out the channel a lot. And click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time.
Peace.